so welcome back to the part two of queen Anne neckline sewing so now we have our patterns and we want to go ahead to sew them so i take off my pattern now because i have my notches okay under bust notch i have every notch so i'm taking off my pins and then my yoke okay so this is what we are going to work on the front this is the front and this is the lining i'll set the lining apart so the way it is right now before you do what you are i'm doing here because this is a demonstration tutorial make sure you have padded okay you have padded your uh, uh, busty so you use your wadding to pad your busty if you want to learn how to pad your busty accurately we have our Telegram online classes going on. You can join us to learn how to pad your busty accordingly. So right now, I'm going to go over to the machine to sew what I have here, okay? I'm not padding it. Like I said, it's a tutorial to show you how to do that. So I'm going to match up bust point to bust point. I will match up under bust to under bust after I have padded. Okay, you you must have finished padding before you do this. So I will go to the machine. I will sew from under at zero point five and complete that. I will also match up this. So whatever thing you see me do now, I'm doing it for lining. I'm doing it for fabric because I'm going to sew both lining and fabric right now. And bring it back to attach the queen and for you okay so let me quickly sew them and I'll be back now I'm done sewing my bust here okay for the front you can see it for the front so I'm going to place my notch on the copy part okay so it will help relax the bust here and you'll be able to also iron it out okay so I'll stop at this point because the curvy part needs to relax so i'm just notching everything as you can see okay then at the end i'll go and open up my seams and give it a good press for my bust here so i will repeat the same thing for the lining make sure you place your notches before you iron with your tailor's ham so the cup comes out well and fitted so i'm done notching right now so like i earlier said this is a demonstration tutorial so now i have come up with my All right so now i've come out with my cup assuming i've ironed it and padded it accordingly the next i'm going to sew now is my queen anne okay so this is how the queen anne is going to lay can you see that so i'm going to lay it like this from the bust line can you see so i'm laying it exactly directly from the bust line and i'm going to secure it with my pins i'll also do that for this i'll come in with this as well this part it's also going to be laid like this from this point okay from the bust line i'll secure it with my pins till i exhaust it now i'll be coming in with my lining okay i'll place my lining by that time i've ironed and opened up my seams so I'll place this on top of this, seam, seam to seam. I'll secure with my pin. I'll keep taking off the pins to secure them. Because as it stands right now, I'm going to sew on top of my pins. Once I get to my machine right now, so I'll secure the center neckline. And I open up the seams and match up seam to seam. Make sure you match up seam to seam. So I pick up the pin I have there. I'll also use it to secure this. So now I'm going to sew right now till I get to the end of the yoke. 
okay so i'm sewing till i get to it so let's go and all right so now it's time for us to start sewing our neckline so i'll be turning to sew from the fabric part as you can see so i'm trying to arrange my yoke to be sure i did not step on it so i'm starting my stitching on this where i have my yoke remember this is going to have a sleeve so I'm sewing from my yoke part at 0 0.5. I'll backstitch. So as I'm sewing, I'm sewing at 0 0.5. So make sure you follow the neckline accordingly. You can see we have a sweetheart neckline at that point. So I'll keep sewing. And once I get to the center front, I'll give the shape of the neckline at 0 0.5. I'll raise my presser foot facing to this direction and I'll be sewing can you see that I'll be sewing I'll open up my seams I'll keep sewing till I get back to where the yoke stopped and then I'll backstitch all right so I'm done with that part now so the next thing I want to do is to take off my pins so once I'm done taking off my pins, next I will do is to place my notches. Please always ensure you place your notches. The first notch I'm making is at the, uh, the uh, center front where we have the sweet hat. So I'm going to notch all the curves for ease. Can you see? Till the part I stop. Then I'll chop off here where I have the seam line so it will be able for me to turn can you see so i just you know place my notches and i come here i chop off where i have my seam so once that is done i'm turning my neckline to the right side but i'm going to top stitch so top stitching now means you'll be flipping all the seams you can see the seam lines i'm flipping everything to the lining like this okay so i'm flipping everything to the lining and i'll sew very close can you see that i'm sewing very close on the lining can you see all the seams i make sure they are all at the line so i'm at the sweet uh, the center front now i'm going to raise my presser foot again and navigate to this point can you see that okay so i make sure i have all my seams because this will help you lay this flat and nice okay okay make sure you flip away your yoke so you don't step on it so i'm i've completed my top stitch at where i have my stitches so now i'm going to give this a good press and lay it on the dress form for you to see the final outlook all right people so this is what it looks like the queen and neckline so you can see is actually running from the neckline to where we have the bust tightening so this is how to go about your queen and neckline so all you need to do is to make sure you part very appropriately like i earlier told you this is a demonstration tutorial so you need to part your bust here effectively okay to come out with a beautiful neckline so all you are going to do is to cut the back piece and join the back piece and your beautiful sleeves to the queen Anne, and that is it so thank you for coming to this tutorial once again and see you in my next video bye